what about um i guess the the combo games where it's both ordering and um placing those seem to give me a run for my money like when i see those i'm i know i'm in trouble so i'm not sure um so I'm usually good with just the, I guess, the, the most simplest type of game. And then once the, they add in a different element and it's a combination, I uh, I think I get caught up in, I, I think, again, trying to figure out what a scenario might be. And then if I can't, then I lose half of my time. Um, I mean, is there a way? I guess not only in just that particular type of game, but there's, is there a way to quickly move past the initial <laughs> and then try to get into it? Yeah, there is. I, I think I would suggest that you start with looking at how LSAC lays out the game in the orientation question. Mm -hmm. The first question okay. of the game, they're typically, is typically orientation, and they're giving you a hint as to how they think about it and how they lay it out. And you don't have to mirror what they do perfectly, but it can guide you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And typically, if you're dealing with, with, let's say, a combination of ordering and grouping in and out, well, yeah. in and out is just basically you're choosing who's in to then place an order. So I'd say eliminate the ordering, the, the eliminate the in-out component first by figuring out who's going to be in. And then you lay out your slots for who's going to be in. Or you can have your in slots and then a couple of slots reserved for those who are out. Okay. But basically, I say you, you, you deal with one aspect of the game at a time. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.